In this video, we will show you how to sew up these versatile bow tie pants or trousers. It is inspired by Thai fisherman pants and wrap pants. We designed them so they have no front or back, so you can slip them right on. They're comfortable to move in and to lounge in. It is versatile because you can choose to put the tie on your front or back. Also, if your weight fluctuates, or if you become pregnant, or just ate a big meal, you can easily adjust the ties to fit your ever-changing body. One pair of pants can also be shared. We started making bow tie pants because the elastic bands in normal pants are often made with polyester and rubber. Polyester sheds microplastic into waterways during washing and is hard to decompose whereas the rubber ends up being not so long-lasting. We wanted something better overall, so that's when we started making bow tie pants. They're super easy to make and repair, and there is no plastic involved. You can read more about the backstory of these pants and download a PDF worksheet of this tutorial on our website. Without further ado, let's begin. Part 0. Tools and Materials you will need measuring tape, fabric scissors, fabric chalk, sewing machine or hand sewing tools, and some natural fabric. You need around 1 meter or 1 yard for shorts, 2 meters slash 2.2 yards of fabric for long pants. Part 1. Measurements and calculations. Be sure to have some paper and a pen ready for this part. Measurement 1. Pant width equals to hips slash waist widest of the two divided by two. Now choose the rise you want your pants to have. Measurement two, crotch depth equals to rise to floor when sitting. Measurement three, pant scoop equals to crotch length, which is front to back rise under the crotch divided by two. Measurement four, Crotch width equals to thigh at the widest part divided by 4. Measurement 5. Pent length equals to rise to thigh for shorts or rise to ankle for long pants. Then optionally to adjust the pant shape and silhouette. Measurement 6. Pent width at thigh. And measurement 7 for long pants. Pent width at ankle. You can take some pants you already have for inspiration. If you don't adjust the pen shape, you will end up with a pair that has a really wide fit. Part 2. Make pattern and sew. We will draw directly onto the fabric. Remember to add seam and shrinkage allowance as needed. Step 1. Prepare fabric. Cut out two pieces of fabric that are sized measurement 5 by measurement 1 times 2. Then fold the pieces in half. Step 2. Draw the pattern. We will demonstrate for shorts first. Draw measurement 2 onto the folded edge from the top. Draw measurement 4 onto the horizontal top edge from the right corner. Then connect those two points with a curve that equals to measurement 3. Optionally, use measurement 6 to adjust the shorts shape. For long pants, draw measurement 2, 3, and 4 the same. You can use a pair of pants you already have to adjust the pant shape. Use measurements of the pants around the thigh and ankle. Transfer them onto your fabric as measurements 6 and 7 from the folded edge and connect those two points. Step 3. Make the pant legs. Cut out the crotch curve, which is measurement 3. Sew up the open straight edge, which is the outer pant leg. Right sides together or wrong sides together for a French seam. We will be doing a French seam. Step 
Step four: Connect pant legs. Open up the pant legs you just sewed up into tubes, and flip one of them right side out. Put one inside the other with crotch seams touching, and sew them together. Here are the pants sewn up. They should be symmetrical with no front or back side. You can try them on at this stage to make sure you like the fit before we move on. Step five, finish up. We will do the French seam now. Take the pants, flip the raw edge in, and sew to encase the raw edge in another seam. Here is the French seam done. We've also hemmed the bottom. The top waist edge has been left as a raw edge for a fun look. Step six. Tube ties. A reference as to how long the ties need to be is a total of one meter or one yard. Use some scrap fabric if you have. We will fold and sew them, leaving one opening unsewn. Trim off any excess and use the tube turner to flip the ties right side out through that unsewn opening. Then sew the ties onto the sides of the pants. We did two lines of stitches like this to give it a clean look. There we have it. Here are the shorts and long pants we've made using this bow tie pants pattern. We really like them, and don't think pants with elastic waistbands can ever compare. If you are wondering how to tie these pants, here are two methods you can use. But the gist of it is. To fold the excess in and secure the pants with the ties, it's easy as that. We hope you were able to make some good fitting pants too. Feel free to share your creations with us by email and let us know if you have any questions in the comments. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.